G.I. Joe Toy Review, where today we will be looking at the Cobra Diver, which is the pre-Cobra Eels. But before we look at Cobra Diver, let's do our shout-outs of the week. First, you can go to the Walking Mall and check out 48 South Loudon Street, which is the address to Back to the Media, which you, which you can go and buy all your video game needs from the Atari to... All the PlayStation and, uh, what is that, uh, the Xbox and all the other stuff. I'm not real good in gaming, so I'm, you know, that's not my thing. But they're a great store where you can get all kinds of video games and whatnot. I did play video games when I was a kid. I do play games on my phone. But, you know, so, but you can check them out. You can get all kinds of good, cool stuff, you know, and whatnot and so on and so forth. So go ahead, definitely check them out. And then while you're in the neighborhood, you can go over to Time Traveler Toys and Collectibles, which you can buy a whole bunch of Transformers, G.I. Joes, and whatnot, and you can definitely check them out, which is actually where I got last week's figure from, or Sunday's figure from G.I. Joe, the, uh, the Autobot Arc, and his little sidekick buddy, Autobot Mainframe, you know, and you can actually get them from Time Travelers. And, uh... As well as other stuff. Sorry about that. I was actually looking at something. But uh, while you're in the area, you can definitely stop and check them out. And speaking of in the area, if you need any kind of comic books, you can go to uh, Four Color Fantasies at um, 80 Weems Lane here in Winchester and go to Four Color Fantasies. Get all your comic book needs. <clears throat> Excuse me. From IDW to uh, Marvel to... Uh, you name it, DC, and uh, you get back issues, current titles, role-playing stuff, car games, and stuff like that, so go ahead and check them out. And while you're in the uh, vicinity and you need any form of counseling in the Winchester area, you can go to uh, Healing Grace Counseling Services at 133 West Piscowan Street, Suite Number 10, and see Robert C. Brown, who's a good personal friend of mine, but, you know... Beside the point, he does give good advice, good sound advice. There's been times he's helped me out with stuff, you know, and whatnot, with advice and his opinion and things of the sort. So definitely go check go check him out. And uh, if you're in the Winchester area and you need a bank, I suggest going to Bank of Clark County. Find your closest branch in the Winchester area and check them out. But uh, definitely please do check them out. But uh, for all your banking needs. But let's get to our subject of the week, Mr. Cobra Diver. Which we will start by reading his file card. Where it says, Underwater Trooper, codename Cobra Diver, file name Farius. You know, because he is an army builder. Primary military specialty is marine combat. Secondary military specialty, underwater demolitions. Birthplace is Farius, because he's an army builder. And the text reads, The Cobra Diver... Division is compri comprised of Cobra Infantry Troopers who have received training in underwater combat, demolitions, and infiltration. They're called Grunts with Fins by higher-ranking Cobra forces, but the Cobra Diver units let it roll off their backs like water. Nice little pun there. They know that if they prove themselves to be thoroughly competent at their job, they will have a real shot of being selected to join the elite eel team. To the to the end, to the end, to that end, every Cobra diver wants to be the one to retrieve that precious water element for Cobra Commander to win his notice and approval. The quote at the bottom says, "We lurk, ben we lurk beneath the surface of the ocean." Striking in silence and attack to uh, striking in silence to attack and destroy. Yeah, you know, this is a cool little army builder. But more on his media stuff later on before I talk about that. So I'll cut myself off there. But let's go ahead and look at his other accessories, starting with his figure stand. Upraised Cobra logo. Right there. Codename Cobra Diver on the front. He's also got his little laser pistol. I'm going to show you one, but he's got two of these little shearing knives with a the little handle there. 
he comes with two, but I'm going to show you one of these little swim fins. The hole right there, good, and you can peg it. They're interchangeable, but you can actually peg them right there like that on the swim fin. The other one is just like that, so they're interchangeable. And he's got the little heavy water element for Cobra Commander for the mass device. He comes with a face mask, underwater face mask with hose, like torpedo, as well as the backpack, which is like torpedo, with the little uh, oxygen counter right there, oxygen tank. He's got two of them, but one of them fell out and went somewhere. I don't know where it went. You know, life with having cats. So here's the Cobra Diver. You know, and uh, let's take a look at him. In, with his red uniform with the white Cobra logo, the black right there, you know, both sides of his wetsuit and whatnot with his little red shoes. The white little holsters for his, uh, his knives. You know, so let's take a look at his articulation. He doesn't wear gloves, so that's pretty cool. But his articulation, his head does rotate the full 360. You know, he can raise his arm to that high. That his arm can rotate the full 360 all the way around. He can bend at the elbow, rotate at the elbow, swivel at the wrist. He's got the ab crunch feature. As you see, nice little float motion right there. He can do the complete splits. Lift his leg about 90 degrees. He can double knee bend. Now his ankle can pivot. As well as shrivel. And whatnot. So let's go ahead and take a look at him in his uh, in all his gear. So here's Cobra Diver in his complete battle gear. You know his gun's kind of wishy washy with fitting in his hand, with how it fits in his hand. But uh, still cool anyway. You know, and there's this little heavy water thing. He only made one appearance in all of Joe Media, and that was in the. Uh, the um, Mass Device five-part miniseries from Sunbow in part four. You know, because like I said, he's the pre-Cobra Eel. <coughs> Sorry about that. So then he did make that one appearance. So there are not really much to say about this guy. You know, except for he's an underwater demolitions expert. <laughs> but uh, there's no vintage version of this guy, so there's no... ACC 788 or FormBX257 videos to refer to or Joe Motion Videos 82 videos but uh you can see him on quite a few other channels like Sanitarium Productions and quite a few other channels so go ahead and check them out so uh but this has been the Cobra Diver tune in next week as we do another Cobra video but it will actually be a retro Cobra figure you know and um big announcement is uh Speaking of Hoodie, Co Hoodie Coco and the, his ACC 788 channel, Cobra Convergence 6 is really rapidly approaching next month. Um, I am a part of it again this year for the second year in a row. Uh, I was in it two years ago. Of course, it was off last year. But uh, I was in Cobra Convergence 5 and will be a part of Cobra Convergence 6. So where I will be reviewing a retro, yeah, Cobra, a retro Cobra vehicle for Cobra Convergence. I'm actually looking forward to it. Uh, this is like the big announcement for this channel. Because I will be a part of that awesome, awesome event once again. I'm looking forward to it. Um, I would have, I was really proud to do it last year. Where I did the Dreadnoughts Assault Jeep. This year I'm doing a retro Cobra vehicle. So go ahead and check it out. But uh, this has been Cobra Diver. And as for Cobra Island... Now you know, and knowing is half the battle. See you in the next one. Peace.